What is up you guys, my name is Elias and I love movies. This video is a request from the one and only Empty Theater and if you guys are not subscribed to his channel, the link will be down below. I've been told that he has his own list of overrated movies which should be very interesting because I seriously doubt it's very similar to mine. With that said, if you guys have any other requests for any other videos, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below or you can message me on Twitter or on Instagram. But for now, what do you say we go ahead and get this over with? Here are my top five overrated films. Warning, this video might be offensive to some. If you are too sensitive to believe that art is subjective, then this video is not for you. This list is based on opinion only. Though we enjoy these movies, here at the Garrett House, we do not believe that they deserve the credit and or hype received. Remember, the only film that should never be considered overrated is Pulp Fiction. It is perfect in every way and should be considered a masterpiece by all. Remember kids, it's all in good fun. Thanks for watching. Enjoy! Okay, so the first one on the list is a pretty obvious choice and kind of believe it's on everyone's list. I just figured I'd do it right now and just get it out of the way first. Frozen is beyond overrated. I don't even think there's a word that would properly describe how overrated Frozen is. Everything about it just seemed extremely lazy to me, especially the music. The lyrics just seem to be thrown together just to create a music number. I do feel like we should all give credit to the marketing team. Those brainwashing geniuses had the whole entire world believing that the movie was amazing before anybody even got a chance to see it. Thank God a very small amount of us in this world did not fall for that trick. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this movie because it will most definitely turn into a rant. Just know that Frozen is the only movie on this list that I really, really dislike. Every other movie on this list I do enjoy, I just don't understand why people seem to think they're so great. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, it, uh, it's fine, uh, I'm good, uh, I've got a thick skull. I don't have a skull. Or bones. Next on my list is Aliens. I do enjoy the movie. I like it. I just don't understand why people seem to think that it's better than the first one. I absolutely love the first Alien. I love the suspense and the psychological thrill of not knowing anything but slowly learning as you go. But the sequel is the complete opposite, which I understand is the number one thing that makes people love it so much. But for me personally, it seems like James Cameron wanted to recreate Alien, but for people that don't like to think. It's just a bunch of guys being guys. Even the women in the movie are being guys. A woman in an action movie does not have to act like a man to be considered a badass. Ripley is a badass, but that's only because she wasn't a badass to begin with. We see her transformation, we see her bravery, as the story goes on. Most people want to defend the action in this movie simply because there isn't that much in the first one and that's fine. You can as long as you're honest with yourself and just admit that most of the action or most of this movie is cheesy as hell. I don't understand how anyone can watch this movie in peace with Bill Paxton. I like Bill Paxton. I think he's a okay actor but my god does he portray one of the most annoying characters known to man he's like the annoying little brother that complains about every single tiny thing but at the same time wants to pretend that he's cooler than you i can't stand it hey man do it bishop hey not me man <laughs> yeah you hey come on come messing around Don't come move. on trust me Number three on this list goes to the one and only Titanic. Just trust me whenever I say that I'm saving the best two for last, okay? Now don't get me wrong, Titanic is a good movie, but why the hell is it considered one of the greatest? If people want to give Titanic so much praise, then I think they should do the same for Pearl Harbor, directed by Michael Bay. Titanic is literally every single cliche imaginable coming straight out of Hollywood's ass. Not only is Titanic one of two movies with the most Oscar nominations at 14, but it's also one of three movies with the most Oscar wins at 11, which for a lot of people will mean that Titanic 
is one of the greatest movies ever made. All people ever want to talk about is the production value, the big sets, the amazing CGI, the all-star cast. But many of us film buffs know that there are a lot of movies out there that are amazing and that have been created with close to nothing. They just don't have the backbone to force it down everyone's throat the way Titanic did. Now don't get me wrong, it's a good movie and between me and you, yes, I did cry the very first time I watched it. But if you really stop and think about it, Titanic just has that perfect formula of a Hollywood movie and it does everything that it needs to do to trick you into thinking that it's a masterpiece when in fact it's not. <laughs> Next one on the list might come as a surprise to some of you, so try to hold your jaw firmly so it doesn't hit the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the number two spot goes to Steven Spielberg's Jaws. Now hear me out, please, okay? I do like this movie. I actually like the characters very much and think that they're the best thing about the film. Seems like most people that love Jaws saw it as a kid and praise it for nostalgic reasons. Holding something for nostalgic reasons doesn't necessarily make it great. There are a lot of great parts in the movie and those are the ones that we all remember. But for me personally, everything in between those great parts just seemed like a made for TV movie. And saying that it's a classic and that it's great just because it made millions during one summer it's like saying that titanic is the greatest movie ever made because it has the most oscars it's history repeating itself over and over again an upcoming filmmaker tries to create something that no one has ever done before and has a lot of difficulties creating that film behind the scenes and that right there is marketing a newscaster gets in front of the camera and says go watch this movie this summer with your friends it's a scary, exciting movie from a unknown filmmaker. And she's never even seen the movie. And when people say that the theme music for the shark itself is iconic and memorable, I'm thinking, really? It's two chords. How are you gonna forget that? Look, it's a good movie, I do like it. But on a nice, quiet Sunday, I'd rather watch Tremors. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. It's really a miracle of evolution. All this machine does is swim and eat and make little sharks, and that's all. Now for those of you that have made it this far into the video, what do you say we talk about my number one pick for most overrated? For my personal list, number one overrated movie goes to the one and only Rocky. Just like I said with the other movies, I do like it. I think it's a good movie. I just can't wrap my mind around why people think it's inspirational, why people think it's amazing, why people think it's one of the greatest. And again, just like the other movies that I mentioned, the studio knew exactly how to sell the film. An up and coming actor writes his own script and gets help to shoot it with little to no money. That alone is marketing. The real life story behind the creation of creating the film is just like the story of Rocky. I mean, seriously, how Hollywood can you get? And it really bothers me how every single character in this movie seems slow. They all seem dim-witted. As I watch the movie, I keep questioning myself, how in the hell did they make it this far on their own? People try to sell it as an American dream, an American film where if you just have hope and believe in yourself and work really hard, then all of your dreams will come true. How a nobody can become a somebody. Really? He was pretty much settled as far as I'm concerned. Rocky Balboa absolutely hates his life. He complains about it day and night, but he doesn't really do anything about it. The fight with Apollo was a pure and lucky chance. Just because a homeless man wins the lottery does not make him a hero. If he would have put as much effort in making his dream come true as he did as trying to get Adria's attention, then maybe he could have done it on his own. And that would have been inspirational. Rocky never gives up on Adrian, even though she makes it very clear that she has no interest whatsoever. Or at least not until he gets this big huge opportunity to take this fight and make a lot of money. Then coincidentally, she's interested. I want to let my brother know where I am. Why? I think he might be worried. Well, I'll call your brother if that's the problem. Yo, Paul Lee, your sister's with me. I'll call you back later. See ya. 
But that's it, you guys. That is my top five overrated films. Let me know what movies you enjoy, but don't think deserve the hype that they receive. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos if you like, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. You're still here? What are you doing? The video is over. Go. Look, if you're if you're upset because I chose one of your favorite movies and put it on my list, I'm sorry, okay? We we all have our own lists. Go go make your own, okay? Just just don't put a Quentin Tarantino film on that list. Alright? Aside from that, you have the freedom to put whatever movie you want on that list. I'm sorry, okay? Just just go. Video is over. Go. Thank you for watching Gary Movie House. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Peace out, homies.